Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Let's create our lower third, create a new composition, I will name this composition as, lower third. For this composition, I will set time duration to, 5 seconds. Perfect. Now here, we will first add all the elements for this lower third and let's on we will animate them one by one. Let's add our first text. Here you can use any font of your choice, here I will be using, Montserrat. Increase the font size. Adjust the position as shown, I will set style to black. Perfect, now let's create duplicate of this text layer. Place it below. Change the text. Adjust the position. Perfect. Now make sure you have not selected any layer, select pen tool. Make sure fill option is set to none. Stroke option is set to, solid color. Here you can set stroke width and color. Now let's create line shape as shown. Here you can increase or decrease the size of stroke. Here we will set stroke color to white. Let's place this anchor point to center of shape layer, while pressing Y key, select anchor point, set it to center. Perfect. Our main text is ready, now let's add the subtext here. Add the text as shown. Here we will set style to regular, or light. Reduce the font size. Adjust the position. Now let's adjust the leading amount between the lines. Perfect. For this text layer, set paragraph to, right alignment. Here our text layers are added. Now let's see how to animate them, for first text layer. From animate, add scale. Set scale to, 0%. In range selector, add distance of 10 frames on the timer line. Create keyframe for offset. Now at 1 second. Set offset to, 100. You can see the preview. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now in more option, set grouping alignment for Y to, minus 50%. You can see now the text is revealing from the center. Perfect. Here our text one is ready. Now let's do the same for second text layer, from animate, select scale. Set scale to, 0%. Now in range selector, at one second. Create keyframe for offset, 
now at near about 25 frames forward, set off set to 100%. In more option, set grouping alignment for Y to minus 50%. Now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now for shape layer, press S to bring up scale, unlink the scale. Now at near about 20 frames. Create keyframe for scale. At start, set scale for Y to 0%. You can see the preview, now select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Now let's animate the final text layer, for this text layer, from animate. Select opacity. Set opacity to 0% in range selector. Now at near about 1 second and 5 frames. Create keyframe for offset. Now at near about 20 frames forward, set offset to 100%. Now in advanced. Set base tom to line. Now from add property, select position. Here we will set x position to 50. Now select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Here if you think your animation is slow, and you want to increase the speed. Then you need to adjust the position of end keyframe for all the layers. Press U to view keyframes. Now adjust the position. Perfect. Here to create another version, you can just change the position or direction for it. Place this shape layer to the other side. Now adjust the text layer position as shown. For text layer, set left alignment. Now for text, in animation, here we will set position to, minus 50. Now let's select all layers position them at center. Now you can see the preview. Now let's see how to create the reverse animation. Select all the layers, pre-compose them. I will name it as title. For this title composition, let's enable time remapping, now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for time remapping. Now at 3 seconds. Set time duration to 2 seconds. Now for end keyframe. Set time duration to 0. Now you can see the complete preview. Here you can scale and adjust the position for lower third. Similarly you can create multiple title and create your lower third. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.